you're supposed to go and get Odin, and then you're supposed to leave, talk to people at Figaro Castle for whatever reason, and they will fill you in on what to do after you have found out that there was a queen, and then you come back and you can upgrade Odin to Raiden. But I like it so much better doing it all in one, one go. You know, while I'm here. <laughs> Instead of doing this more or less the hard way, all the way through. So, uh, I believe you can warp out of here, but I'm going to walk simply because I, I like walking sometimes. And in case you guys don't have warp or don't have enough MP for warp, you want to know how to get out of here quite quickly. And hopefully I do remember the quick way out of here. I should, though. Just back this way, and I want to actually go through this secret passage so I can get out the right door here. But like I said, there is kind of a debate on whether or not you should get Odin or Raiden, which one's actually better for you in the long run, and pretty much the consensus is that the best thing that you want to do is to get uh, Odin level up your party, do all your level grinding, then get right in, and then teach everybody that you want quick. But I'd rather try to keep my level grinding to as few spots as, as necessary. I, I am trying to do it throughout the game, but splitting that up just, just seems like too much effort for me at this time. Uh, speed, like I said, isn't all that important. Let's talk to this guy, and we are ready to continue our journey. Now, unfortunately, we have ended up on the wrong continent now because we no longer have access to our airship. And really, that's kind of important. I like my airship. Let's go back to Collingen. And if memory serves me correctly, even when we go this way, he will let us know, oh, by the way, there's a castle down there. Did you want to go to the castle? But we are done. Yeah, he does tell us. Now we just want to continue our journey and head back to our airship. And once we go to our airship, I'll probably rearrange the party again. I do try to give people their due air time. It has been a while since we've seen a lot of people in this party, except for Novin, of course. And I'll probably be getting rid of him this time. I don't think there's any, um, any lores for him to learn. And he's been on screen enough, so it is time to probably switch my party around again. I'll meet you at our next destination. And we are now on the northeastern island here. This is known as Triangle Island. Uh, there's usually only one enemy to fight here. In the World of Balance, it's in Tangier, which I didn't do on the screen. Uh, but in the World of Ruin, it is something entirely different. I have a new party with us. This is Toph, Bash, Kanjo, and Stefan. And my party, also known as the other people that I rarely use. I'm trying to bring them in more often, but I'm falling into certain habits when it comes to some of my party members, and I shouldn't do that. I'm pretty much focusing on physical attacks here. Uh, that might, might not be the best idea, though. Uh, we got Dragoon, Toph. Uh, Atlas Armor on, on Bash. Carnijo is my just all around attack everybody all the time guy. And we got Stefan with a ribbon because that's kind of important. Uh, in case you're wondering, Zone Seek, Bismarck, Raiden, and Bahamut. Not that you will be seeing those ever used in these fights. What I need to do is actually get into a fight. And I need to lose this fight. I'm going to say that right now. We're up against the Zone Eater. <laughs> Thanks for the side attack, but it is pretty much useless for me. Like I said, I want to lose this fight, and the only way to lose this fight is to let my entire party get engulfed. Now that can take some time. This guy, he's weird. He doesn't have any attacks. He just has, well, he does have attacks. He's got engulf, and he's got demi. Engulf removes people from the fight, but in that case, that's what I want to do. And Demi will never kill you because it's a Demi. And it takes away half of your HP. And half of one is zero because they're nice and ran down. So you will never die with against this guy. And luckily, he doesn't cast him. He just sucks us all in. And we have lost the fight. 
But instead of a game over screen, we get a dungeon. Now, should you want to leave this dungeon, uh, the light up top is the way you want to go. Tap Dancer and Covert here. These guys are tough. Let's go ahead and get in the air. I want to take out uh, the Tap Dancer, actually. Let's try to keep these guys relatively honest by throwing some skeins or edges at them. Uh, water Edge should do nicely. Now, unfortunately, Honey Joe is not doing so hot right now. Holy crap, shurikens are kicking my ass. So, this is the main reason. Holy crap. We took out one of them, hooray. Now it's time for me to get my party back. Holy crap, this is why you teach everybody white magic. I'm telling you that right now. Did you see how much damage those shurikens did? That was damn near insta-death. It was over 8,000. That is not cool. Not cool at all. You go ahead and use a fire skin. I don't think that's enough. It is enough. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Connie Joe, how about you come up? Bash tried and failed. I'll, I'll go on the next one. Toph is saving everybody's ass here. Do you guys know that? Okay, Connie Joe failed as well. Seriously, this is, this is a tough ass fight. Okay, um... Stefan, you're up. Let's see if you can live. Let's see if you can be the boy that lives. These are going to be hard fights. They're... Oh, that's right. I was about to say, don't... I put Thunder Shields on people. I don't remember who they were, though. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get everybody cured while I'm at it so that I have a chance of actually living through this. Toph can only carry me so far. He, I, I love Toph, but I'm going to need some supporting characters for him. Wind Slash, that's fine. Unfortunately, I don't have the best magic party here, so... Uh, we're, we're not going to be able to cure as well as Limea or, or Coco would, but that is fine for now. What I want to do is... We'll try a slot. We'll try one slot. Yes, it works perfectly. And why are you focusing on him, huh? Why? And seven flush is probably going to win. No, these guys are pretty damn tough against magic. All right, let's get you up in the air again. Cognito, if you could live, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's go for just a cure. Yeah, all around. All around again. Seriously? What the hell? I'm trying so hard to keep everybody alive, and you're trying so hard to ruin that for me. This time it's just going on him. Well, he got up in time. That's what's important. <laughs> Three magic points off of that. 1300 experience. Connie Joe gets a level. He apparently needed it. Let me heal once again. I do like the music in this area. It's a little different than what we're used to uh, in terms of dungeon music, but I think that is just fine. Now, what I want to do here is kind of complicated. There's a guy. Who the hell's that guy? It doesn't really seem like a way for me to get over there, so let's take the path down. Doesn't seem to be anything that I can do here either. So what the hell do you want me to do, game? What they want you to do is kind of strange. Uh, you haven't really been doing this this whole game, but they want you to do it now. They want you to jump all the way across. Uh, now, these guys will push you off, so try to avoid them if you can. In here we get Genji armor. I love this armor. Let's go ahead and put it on Kanijo, since, like I said, apparently he needs it. Well, he does need it because he doesn't have any shield on, and that's kind of an issue for him. Uh, Genji armor, as you can see, is fantastic. Uh, ups defense by... 18 over the crystal mail by 31 magic defense, uh, 3 magic power, 2 stamina, 3 speed, and 5 vigor. Good lord, that is good armor. I will definitely take that, and I'll move on. Oh, so close there. So close yet, no cigar. And in here we can get a magical brush, which is something for 
Rose, but of course she's not here. Damn it, I wasn't quick enough. They did push me off the bridge. Okay. So we can get ourselves an ether and a red jacket out of there. Another red jacket, which is always good. Let's step on this switch and head back up and hopefully we can make it across this time. At least this time I don't have to sneak by this guy three times. I need you on the other side though, thank you. Down here, need this guy as far to the right as I can let him go. Run, 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 and yes, I want to go down here and over here where I can get a fake mustache, which uh, increases uh, Rose's control rate. And we do have a couple new enemies here. We have woolies and carcasses. Uh, let's go ahead and get up in the air. We can throw something. I don't think it really matters what I throw. Uh, let's go with a bolt edge. Uh, we'll go for just a regular attack. A uh, frenzy can put you into berserk, as you might expect. It does matter what I throw. Those guys are good against uh, good against magic. Really, I'm, I'm starting to run low on MP here. These guys don't heal very well at all. Just go ahead and cure yourself while everybody else works out how to damage these guys. And unfortunately, that is not enough to kill them, even though I did a ton of damage. But, of course, Toph does a little bit more. Let's go for another attack. Down goes the last one. Out go the trump cards, which can kill the woolly but they do get one attack before they die, which is kind of weird. Let me heal again off screen. With that done, we are ready to head back. I want this guy to fart, to, no, far to the right as I can let him go and sneak past them. And now I am free to head down these stairs and find a save point, which I definitely need to use. And we will continue this next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I've been Bella Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my deprived of good magic stats squad of Toph, Bash, Kanijo, and Stefan. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.